Hi, and welcome back to Springwell 360. Today, we are going to talk about clinical trials and improving diversity in clinical research studies. So clinical trials, they play an important role in advancing medical research, fostering innovation, and improving healthcare outcomes. These clinical trials are essential for evaluating the safety and the efficacy of new treatments, drugs, and medical interventions. However, in order for us to truly realize the potential of clinical trials, it's crucial to acknowledge and to recognize the significance of diversity and inclusivity in research. And by ensuring that these clinical trials have a diverse range of participants, we can learn about the huge number of benefits for individuals, their communities, and the broader healthcare landscape. I actually wrote an entire dissertation on this topic, and I am extremely passionate about increasing awareness of clinical trials and what we can do to improve diversity in these clinical research studies. So participating in a clinical trial may be beneficial to you, and it may help to improve your wellness. Perhaps you have a condition where you may benefit from participating. I always encourage you to read the consent form, ask questions, and then decide if it's a good fit for you. So when it comes to diversity in clinical trials, this refers to the inclusion of people from various ethnic, racial, gender, age, socioeconomic, and geographic backgrounds, as well as those with diverse medical conditions and comorbidities. Historically, Clinical trials have predominantly involved individuals who do not represent the true diversity of the general population. And this lack of representation has unfortunately resulted in limited understanding of how different populations respond to treatments and therapies. There are many reasons for the lack of representation that we see in clinical trials. Unfortunately, there have been some historical injustices resulting in a lack of trust of medical professionals and researchers. I'll bring up what happened in Tuskegee, and this should have never occurred. But fortunately, you know, now we have processes in place to prevent history from repeating itself, and there are many potential benefits for participating in clinical trials. So you may ask, if we already have people participating in these trials, why is it important to have representation? So number one, having representation can lead to accurate and generalizable results. Inclusion of diverse participants in clinical trials helps to ensure that the research findings are more representative of the larger population. Individuals from different backgrounds may have unique genetic variation, lifestyle factors, and environmental exposures that can influence treatment outcomes. Without diversity, the results may not accurately reflect the effectiveness, safety, and side effects of medical interventions across diverse populations. It's also important when you want to consider personalized medicine. The era of precision medicine seeks to tailor treatments to individual patients based on their specific genetic and physiological makeup. In order to develop effective personalized treatments, it is essential to understand how different populations respond to therapies. By including diverse participants in clinical trials, researchers gain insight into population-specific variations in treatment responses, and this helps to pave the way for more targeted and personalized medical approaches. Another reason why it's important is addressing health disparities. Inclusivity in clinical trials can contribute to reducing health disparities that disproportionately affect marginalized communities. Health equity is also impacted when we don't have diverse clinical trial participants as well. Certain populations, such as racial and ethnic minorities, often face higher rates of certain diseases, yet they are unfortunately significantly underrepresented in clinical research. By including these groups in the trials, we can identify and address specific healthcare needs in these populations and communities 
and help to improve access to cutting edge treatments and foster health equity. Another reason why diversity in clinical trials is important is because of the safety and efficacy in underrepresented groups. Certain diseases and conditions may affect certain populations differently. For example, certain medications metabolize differently in individuals of different ethnic background, and this makes it crucial to understand the potential variation in drug response. By including diverse participants in clinical trials, we can gather data on the safety and the efficacy of treatments in underrepresented groups, ensuring that medical interventions are optimized for all. Again, this helps to lead to better outcomes for all. We also want to consider ethical considerations. Equity and justice are fundamental principles in healthcare. Excluding diverse populations from clinical trials helps to perpetuate disparities and denies individuals access to potential life-saving treatments. Embracing diversity is not only scientifically essential, but also ethically imperative. It promotes fairness, inclusivity, and respect for the rights of all individuals. So what can you do to help? Firstly, there is raising you know, awareness and education. So raising awareness among researchers, healthcare professionals, and the public about the importance of diversity in clinical trials is crucial. Increased knowledge can help to you know, address myths and misconceptions surrounding participation. It can help to in in encourage inclusivity and promote engagement from underrepresented populations. What else can we do to help? There's also recruitment and retention. Actively recruiting diverse participants is essential. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Outreach efforts should include culturally appropriate strategies. It should include community engagement and partnerships with trusted community organizations. Addressing logistical barriers such as transportation, language, childcare, cultural sensitivity can help improve retention and reduce participant dropout rates. What else can we do to help? Well, there's policy and guidelines. Implementing policies and guidelines that mandate diversity in clinical trials can drive change. Regulatory bodies and research institutions should emphasize the importance of diversity and enforce guidelines to ensure representative participant recruitment. I was so happy to learn about the FDA's mandate to, for sponsors to have diversity plans. What else can we do to help? Well, there's also collaboration and data sharing. Encouraging collaboration among researchers and institution can foster diversity in clinical trials. Sharing data and research findings across institutions and countries can help to enhance understanding and drive the development of more inclusive protocols. Finally, the take home here is diversity and inclusivity, they're not just buzzwords. These are fundamental pillars of ethical and effective clinical research. By embracing diversity in clinical trials, we can unlock a wealth of knowledge, improve healthcare outcomes, reduce disparities, and ensure that medical advancements benefit all individuals. It is incumbent upon researchers, healthcare professionals, policymakers, and society as a whole to champion diversity and to make inclusivity a priority in the pursuit of medical progress. Thank you. I hope you found this a great learning experience, and I hope you will subscribe for more content.